Jessie. Best of luck. Now, Josie, <laughs> earlier we spoke about walking as a great way to exercise. Yeah. However, you ventured into something quite unique recently. I did. I actually did. I dipped my toes into one of the fastest growing sports, pickleball, and I absolutely loved it. Take a look at how I got on. What do Leonardo DiCaprio, the Kardashians, George Clooney and Josie Gibson all have in common? We don't know, Josie. We put the all in pickleball. <laughs> That's why I love this morning, entertaining and educational. Yeah! Yes, it's time to make a racket about pickleball. Yeah, we should join a team. So, accompanied by this awesome pickleball anthem, just one of many, I headed to a local club in Bristol to play with my regular coach, Jeff Burley, who didn't teach me that shot. Jeff, what is pickleball? It's a bit like tennis, badminton, table tennis all into one. It's designed for between two to four players on a badminton sized court. It all started in 1965 in a residential back garden on Bainbridge Island near Seattle. And the heroes of the story are Joel Pritchard, Barney McCullum, and Bill Bell. There was a group of professional businessmen who were playing golf and they came home to find their children a little bit bored. They said, let's play badminton. They went to the badminton courts and somebody forgot to bring the shuttlecocks along. They thought, right, let's use what they call a wiffle ball. Then he realised, well, we can't really hit the ball with a badminton racket, so they got a table tennis. And that's how it started. But why, may you ask, is it called pickleball? One theory is that rowing was popular on Bainbridge Island and a boat made up of leftover rowers from other teams is called a pickle boat. And that reminded Joel's wife of the leftovers from other sports that made up pickleball. But there are other theories. Let's go courtside and ask some experts. Sharon, why do you think pickleball is called pickleball? Well, my understanding is that going back to the 60s in America, two men were playing a game over a tennis net and they got a dog called Pickle. A dog called Pickle gave Pickleball its name. Rob, where do you think the name Pickleball come from? Well, as Joel Pritchard used to say, uh, if you put your opponent in a bit of a pickle, that's why, you, that's why it's called Pickleball. You move your opponent around, you get them in difficult positions, Pickleball. I like it. I think you're onto something now. Whatever the story behind the name, the game is becoming massively popular. Come on, play some pickleball. And now it's the fastest growing sport in the USA, with a lot of celebrity fans like Kim Kardashian and Emma Watson amongst almost 9 million players. And it's proving to be a smash hit here as well. Whilst most people play pickleball for fun, Thadia Locke has taken it to the next level. Meet the British female number one pickleball professional, playing someone being, well, a little bit unprofessional. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I'm not a fan of badminton, I'm not a fan of tennis, but as soon as I started playing pickleball, I was just addicted. What is it? I think it's just so fun. I think it's the joy of chasing a little plastic ball around a court. You know, it's basically glorified bat and ball from the beach and it's really easy to play. You see from the court, it's a really small court, so anyone of any age can easily move around the court. You won't walk past a pickleball court without hearing people laughing and having fun and socialising and really is just a sport that brings people together. <laughs> of course, there is an irony to me playing the British female number one when my game is frankly bit number two. Oh. <laughs> but you might be thinking, how do I get as good as Josie? In the UK, we've got upwards of 300 clubs around the country. So if you want to start playing, you can find your local club on the Pickleball England website and you can get in touch with them and start playing. And be addicted like and me. be addicted, exactly. <laughs> me and Alison Hammond were thinking about setting up a doubles this morning at Pickleball team. Do you think we could dominate? What I think you can be is the queens of fun of the court and that's the most important thing. Out, you heard the challenge. Out, you heard She's the not challenge. impressed. <laughs> nope. Josie wants to win. Maybe not pro just yet, but we'll give you a bit more training and then I think you can get there. Pretty much training. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing by the laughter, quite a lot. Never mind. I'll stick to the fun and we'll leave the competitive games to third year. Come on! It is nice to know I am playing one of the fastest growing sports in the world. I do like to keep it top pickle. <laughs> top pickle. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>
That's Josie, the full Bransons. Now, I've played paddle tennis before. Right, I've never very played different. pickle before. We've got a net set up, so why don't you give me a lesson? Right, well, this it wouldn't be a normal size court because it's about the size have, of a badminton. Oh, and we won't be in a this morning uh, studio. Okay. But um, I'm not competitive at all, but are you ready? Yeah. Right, go. Ready? Right. Oh! oh one nil to Josie. One nil to Josie. Right, here we go. Oh, That's oh, you missed it, you missed out. it. I'll give you one How more. How do I serve? Where am I meant to do it? Right, OK, so I'll be at this side of the court, you're at that side of the court. The and first does one... Does it have to bounce? Is it on the first shot, I think, and you can't... You've got to beware of the kitchen. Yes! <laughs> Josie wins. Mara Game. Lewis, there we go. When you take on the pickable queen, what do you expect? There we go. Don't go anywhere.